Hey, good morning, friends. Good morning, Brad Smith from The Way. I pray that you all had a blessed weekend in the name of the Lord. So this weekend at The Way, we are continuing our study through the book of Ephesians. We're in Ephesians chapter 6, the armor of God. We did the belt of truth. We did the breastplate of righteousness. And in verse 15, and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. We're going to be talking about the readiness given by the gospel of peace this week. And we're going to remind, rewind to Ephesians chapter 2. Starting in verse 11, the word says, Therefore remember that at one time you Gentiles in the flesh called the uncircumcision by what is called the circumcision, which is made in the flesh by hands. Remember that you were at that time separated from Christ, alienated from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers to the covenants of promise having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace, who has made us both one and has broken down in his flesh the dividing wall of hostility by abolishing the law of commandments expressed in ordinances that he might create in himself one new man in place of the two, so making peace." and might reconcile us both to God in one body through the cross, thereby killing the hostility. And he came and preached peace to you who were far off, and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access in one spirit to the Father. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone in whom the whole structure being joined together grows into a holy temple in the Lord. In him you also are being built together into a dwelling place for God by the Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. I'd like to pray for you for this week as well. Heavenly Father, as we uh, study the gospel of peace this week, we're reminded that uh, we have peace with you since we've been justified by faith. And we have access to the, the grace and the hope that you have given to us. Uh, we have peace with you. We have peace with one another. Uh, we are to eagerly pursue the, the bonds of peace. And so, God, I pray that the, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding would uh, permeate the lives of all of the people the way this week. Uh, Lord, that we would live a peaceful week, uh, a holy week. Lord, we offer ourselves up to you this week as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to you. Lord, forgive us for squandering time. Forgive us for uh, investing in, in minutia and trivia and things that have no internal bearing whatsoever. Forgiving for, forgive us for allowing unrighteousness to, to, to fill our lives. Uh, forgive us for consuming unrighteousness. And so, Lord, we just offer ourselves up to you this week. God, may, may you uh, use this week and use us this week uh, to accomplish your decree, your eternal will. Lord, open our hearts and our minds, open our eyes to see the lost around us. God, that you would give us the, uh, the, the motivation. God, that you give us the courage to open our mouths and proclaim the glorious riches of your grace to the lost. Uh, Lord, may this be a holy week. And so we give ourselves to you this week. We thank you, Jesus. We didn't deserve this week, but you have seen fit to give us another week. And for those who are suffering, those who are afflicted this week, God, I pray that you grant them comfort. Grant us repentance, God. Call us to obedience, God. And again, we yield ourselves to you this week. And it's in the powerful and precious name of Jesus that I pray. Amen. Have a blessed week in the name of the Lord.